All praise be to Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This is part three in my my shallow dive down the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole is endless. There's an endless amount of stuff to look into. But if you've if this is your first, if this is the first video you've watched. You should watch part one and two first. So I'm going through the protocols of the Illuminated Sons of the Golden Dawn. This is part two. Um, this is by Sea Change. I'll put a link down below. Sea Change and the uh, in Pedogate last year. So Protocol 5, topple the globalist pedocracy. The world will be united by the New World Order globalists, but not in the way the globalists had hoped. The nations of the earth will be united through our shared disgust and unanimous rejection of the globalist pedocracy. So yeah, there's a lot of pedophilia going around. And New, new World Order globalists, that's, that's what's said is being taken down, but in reality... New World Order is what's being instituted here. Yes, there's a lot of evil that's going to be exposed and a lot of evil that's going to be taken down, but it's going to be replaced by the Luciferian system, the current system of... You know, there's a lot of people who worship Satan. <laughs> and But as I've said before, like the... So like you've got, got the you've got the Satanists and you've got the Luciferians and there's Satan and Lucifer are the same thing, the same person, but there's sort of different different modes of worship you might say. Um, the, the the Luciferians would be more the the Masons and the Satanists would be more I guess the Illuminati and the you know, <laughs> but in in reality it's it's all the same. It's you know got this big secret control structure controlling the world. Part of it's going to get taken down. The uh, and the other part's going to take over. And this is how the Antichrist is going to come in, the New World Order. Um, and who's going to be able to argue against it, right? You know, the, all the pedophiles are going to get taken. Well, not all of the pedophiles, but a lot of bad people are going to get taken out. A lot of crimes are going to be exposed. You know, if you think about in... Um, 9-11, how, how angry everybody was when those buildings were blown up. Well, this is going to be that times a hundred, times a thousand. <laughs> it's going to be a massive thing. Anybody who speaks out against this thing, like against the people who stopped this thing, are going to be in trouble, right? Anyway, it's part two. As the true extent of all the crimes, lies, conspiracies, and atrocities of the satanic financial elite and their minions are brought to light, Questions will naturally arise as to how such evil corruption and total deception was even possible. This is where the public is introduced, introduced to the reality of the pedophile blackmail slave and how such mind control was used to control the media's deceptions and even to commit false flag terrorism, such as in Las Vegas. So if you remember the Las Vegas shooting where the, the guy was in the hotel, supposedly a, the, the official story is there was a guy in a hotel shooting down at the, the crowd of people at the concert. The, uh, the conspiracy story is different. <laughs> but the rabbit hole, I'm not going to get into the whole thing. The part three, a controlled demolition of the new world order, a total systemic collapse, collapse will be triggered through the disclosure of the simple fact. The new world order is a satanic criminal cabal of central bankers who have used pedophile blackmail slaves to infiltrate government, media, law enforcement, and intelligence agencies to create a satanic totalitarian empire, the NWO, through shadow government pedocracy. So part of that's true. It's a, it's a big thing. It's a big thing that's going to happen. It's going to blow your mind if you haven't heard about it. Even if you have heard about it, it's... I, it, most of the people in the Q movement, I don't think, realize how big it is. If, even just ignoring the fact that the whole thing is satanic and Q is Luciferian, even if you believe the Q narrative... This is still bigger than most of you realize. Like this is, it's huge. I don't know how much of it's actually going to come out because I mean, it's the whole the world is run by Satan. So I don't know how much of it's going to come out, but a lot of it is, and it's, it's huge, and it's going to shock you. Part four: the greatest strength of the new world, new world order system is transformed into their greatest weakness by simply shifting from darkness to light. By distilling control down to a few select psychopathic pedophiles, the NWO was able to concentrate, concentrate their control and limit their liability. This same mechanism, however, created a concentration of criminals whose crimes have already been digitally documented by various intelligence agencies within their blackmail control files. The NWO was designed perfectly for a controlled demolition. Hmm. Designed perfectly for a controlled demolition. By who? The world will be united through our shared humanity. 
to our collective and unanimous rejection of the globalist cabal. Every country will share in the ritual. Just notice when, as I read any religious sounding terms in this, the ritual of exposing and prosecuting the crimes of the cabal. So there's going to be a, every country is going to get involved in this ritual of exposing the crimes. Everybody's going to be looking into, looking at everybody else and checking up on everybody else. It's going to be fun. Um, for the communists who are already doing that. Every country will be united by our collective freedom from slavery and our shared respect of each other's sovereignty. A federation of freed countries will unite in support of each other's freedom. Sounds very good, doesn't it? The political left and right will be united by their disgust with the tactics of the globalists. The left will have more deprogramming to do, or reprogramming, you might say, for their collective empathy had been the most effectively exploited by the cynical globalists and the nihilistic cultural Marxists. The right will feel relief, but will naturally avoid the kind of right-wing fascism of the past. Indeed, unity will emerge naturally from the disillusionment of the lifted veil. So this is, you know, as I said, keep in, keep in, uh, pay special attention to the religious language that's used, the lifted veils. It's the veil that's being lifted which is what God is going to do at the end of the age. He's going to lift the veil and all truth will be known. But you know, this is the counterfeit. This is the Antichrist. The Antichrist comes before Jesus comes. Protocol 6, reset the global financial system. The global financial system will be reset at the, at a Mar- at the Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago summit. Mar-a-Lago is Trump's mansion. If you, uh, I advise looking it up. It's a very interesting place. It has rooms for like a room dedicated to every nation in the world, a lot of the nations in the world, like in different styles of the different nations of the world. He's been set up for this role for a long time. Global sovereign debts will be collectively voided by a one-time global jubilee. A jubilee is something that happens in the Bible as well. Uh, It happens every... I should know this. It's every 50... Hold on. Yeah, sorry. I've only read Leviticus once, but every 50th year or perhaps every 49th year... um, is it like a a reset of the the finances and the the property? Basically, the land and property rights will revert back to their original owners, and like the, so, the finances reset every fifty years according to uh, Mosaic law, the biblical law, the the law given by Moses in Leviticus. Um, yeah, but so there's going to be a jubilee in uh, the world after all this, you know, after the financial financial system crashes. In the U.S., the Federal Reserve will be declared unconstitutional and illegitimate, and the criminal institution will be dissolved. Uh, the truth will be revealed about how the unconstitutional criminal institution of the Federal Reserve was able to be passed by a corrupted government. The assassin- assassinations of the Fed's biggest opponents, Guggenheim, Astor, Strauss, during the sinking of the Titanic will be brought to light. Rabbit hole. Uh, the blackmail of Congress and the President to pass the bill illegally and without legal quorum on what would later become the exoteric satanic holiday of Festivus. I don't know what that is. Another rebranding of esoteric Saturnalia will be revealed. So Saturnalia was basically it's Christmas. It's what people uh, celebrate as Christmas. Christmas is not a Christian celebration. It's a satanic celebration. Saturnalia was uh, a Roman thing, basically, where they... I think they took like the took an idiot and made him king for I think it was a week long celebration, and everything was legal during that time. You do whatever you wanted, so and that is what Christmas is now, basically. And it's yeah, it's weird and all the traditions like that. I'm not going to get into it here, but you know the Christmas tree has some symbology and the giving of presents and uh, Santa, Satan, and all, all that stuff. Anyway, you can look that up yourself. Americans will realize that while the majority of Congress was on recess celebrating Christmas. A handful of satanic pedocrats gathered in D.C. to pass an illegal bill to give a foreign banking cabal, the one blackmailing them, control of the U.S. financial system. So this is somewhat true in that the Federal Reserve, you know, in the financial system, it is corrupt. The money printing authority in the U.S. will be returned to the rightful constitutional jurisdiction of the Treasury. The U.S. dollar will be reset as a legitimate gold-backed Backed currency. All, I think there, there'll be a cryptocurrency involved in that, though. And that's <laughs> the rabbit hole is deep. I don't know if it goes into it. 
I don't know if it goes into it further on in here because I'm just reading this. I haven't read this for a while. But anyway, so part five. All student loan debt will be voided. Debt slavery and indentured servitude through non-dischargeable student loan debt will be made illegal again. Protocol 7. Secure world peace. Peace in North Korea will be secured with nuclear disarmament and phased reunification of the peninsula, peninsula initiated. The combination of the technological infrastructures of the South with the cheap and disciplined labor force of the North will combine to create an economic, an emergent economic powerhouse which will balance and harmonize the Chinese and Japanese influence in the region. And with regard to this stuff, I don't know how much of this stuff is... I mean, it's not the way it's looking at the moment. Who knows? Trump has met with Kim Jong-un. What I find interesting, though, is how... like. So I'm looking, I've looked at the Q stuff, I sort of know the Q stuff, then I'm looking at a bunch of people who, they talk about Bible prophecy, and the, if the Q stuff is right, everybody who doesn't know about Q is wrong, because the way the world looks now is not the way the world is going to look in a year's time, if all this Q stuff happens. Um, like this stuff about, people are talking about, you know, the North Korea and Iran and Jerusalem and Israel and all these things, from the perspective of the information that's widely known in the world, it seems to fit Bible prophecy in a particular way. But if you put in this Q stuff, and this is just stuff that somebody has put on the internet. I don't know who wrote this information. Uh, all I know is that there's some interesting things said in here, and it fits in with the Q movement. The Q movement is the thing that's happening. So I don't know how much of it's true. I'm, I'm presenting it to you to hopefully just give you some idea that there's something going on behind the scenes here. But... Yeah, it's it's interesting. You know, part two: the constru control strings will be cut, dethroning the CIA, CIA and Rothschild control over North Korea. The announcement of this agreement, however, will be delayed until spring or early summer 2018 to maximize the political impact in the United States. So it is interesting that so this stuff this stuff came out in the beginning of 2018 or in 2017. I'm not exactly sure when. So the timeline is off. It's interesting to, to point that out. And the timeline of Q is also off. Things have been getting delayed. Things are still progressing, but this is part of... A Q discredits himself, let's say. That's why it's it's hard to talk about, because like if you look at if you look at the QAnon posts, the first posts talk about Hillary Clinton getting indicted back in, back in late 2017, it would be, I think, at this point. And that obviously didn't happen. However the stuff is still happening so what is actually real and what isn't i don't know but nevertheless we'll keep reading just keep in, keep in mind that you know the rabbit hole goes deep this is why it's hard to talk about peace with iran will be secured using a combination of irresistible economic and technological incentives to balance the implied martial pressures the optics of the nego negotiation will allow both the iranians and tr will yeah, to both save, and Trump to both save face. Trump will appear to be generous and the Iranians honored. So that's what we're seeing at the moment. It will be interesting to see how that plays out, the situation in, in Iran. The issue of Israel will be finally resolved and peace finally secured in the Middle East. The precise details of this arrangement is to remain occulted until now. So with that, I mean, there is the peace deal that Trump's proposing. Um, but it's, you know, it's a secret deed. Uh, it's secret at the moment. Some details have supposedly been leaked, but we don't really know what's going on. But just note the word occulted there. Um, what can be revealed, however, is that the non-Semitic origins of the Askenazim will be acknowledged and their real homeland identified as Kazaria. The original plot of the Rothschilds to sacrifice the nation of Israel, which they also created via the Balfour Declaration, declaration to fulfill their plot to trigger world war three will also be revealed so this is the bit where it starts to really get interesting uh with regard to biblical prophecy because the the way that the q movement is presented and the way this is presented you can see in this bit it's presented as if god doesn't exist so it's talking about the rothschilds created israel and you know in order to sacrifice it to trigger world war three well god created israel <laughs> And this is where you're going to have conflict with what I'm saying if you don't believe. If you don't believe the Bible is literal truth, this this is the bit, and in the bit that's coming up, this is where you're going to have trouble. But so the non-Semitic origins, origins of the Ashkenazim. So there's the Ashkenazi Jews who are blamed, who are going to be blamed for being the the evil people who are running the world, you know, the Rothschilds and 
you know, the evil Jews in Hollywood and you know, the, the Jews, the evil Jews, basically. The um, the eight chan talks a lot. A lot of people on eight chan in the Q movement talking about how evil the Jews are. There's a lot of Jew hate. Let's say so this is the part of this, and the, this is part of the misrepresentation of the truth. Um, this is what I'm talking about with all this. There's a whole lot of bad bad stuff that's going to get revealed, and you know, it's going to be bad, uh, truly bad, like as in bad stuff that's honest, true information about bad things that are happening, and true, 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 and then you get to the bit down the bottom where you've believed all this stuff, you know, you've believed everything that Q said, and everything that Q said has been true about all the evil in the world, and it gets up to a point where, okay, now we're going to present you a false version of the world, we're presenting... You know, we're getting to the bad things because Satan's goal is to destroy Israel and <laughs> bring about the end of the world, basically. So this is the beginning of that in this this protocols thing. The true to the true Semites, the, the Shepardic Jews of Israel and the Muslims of and the Muslims of Palestine. Muslims of Palestine are not Jews. Uh, Jews, uh, well, you have to read the Bible, but yeah, continuing on with this. Perverting God's word. And, um, yeah, so the true Semites, the Shepardic Jews of Israel, Shepardic Jews and the Muslims of Palestine will be united by the acknowledgement of their shared oppression and exploitation at the hands of the Zionists. So the, the bad Jews, and they're exploiting the good Jews, and part of the good Jews is the Palestinians. So one of the things that a lot of people are talking about at the moment is starting uh, triggering the rapture and bringing about God's wrath on the earth is... Um, Breaking of God's eternal covenant. So there's a covenant between God and Israel. Um, basically, Abraham initially was given the covenant. Um, the nation of Israel were given that land in Israel. And this peace treaty that Trump is going to sign, a lot of people are talking about that is the trigger for the rapture when God gets really angry because that's you know, breaking of the covenant that he made with, with the Israelis, with the nation of Israel. So once they break that, so this is part of, you know, okay, all this, all this bad stuff happens, the Q stuff happens, the world changes completely, there's this new truth revealed about reality, and the truth is that the Palestinians and the Israelis, although there are some bad Jews, and we're going to get rid of those bad Jews, blame it on them, and, and maybe they are guilty, because there are a lot of bad Jews, not, not, not as a percentage, but like as a, a number, just as there are a lot of bad people of every nationality, you blame it on them, and we'll bring the you know, the, that conflict area, the Palestinians and the Jews will bring them together and will divide up the nation of Israel, give each bit their land. Yeah, so this is this is the interesting bit. Both Crimea and Astana will factor in the Middle East peace agreement as alternative homelands for any non-Semitic Ashkenazim, Khazarian Jews, Ashkenazi Jews who find the new arrangement disagreeable and decide to leave Israel. So they're going to divide up the Middle East, going to divide up Israel, give new land to the nation of Israel and and one has to wonder who the the Ashkenazi is in, you know, the supposed bad Jews who aren't Jews, who are they going to be identified as? That'll be interesting. I wonder if they're actually the true Jews. We'll, we'll see. Protocol 8, unveil occult sciences and technology. The fall of the cabal enables breaking the truth embargo on various scientific breakthroughs and secret technologies, most important and spectacular among them being non-combustion propulsion systems and highly efficient clean energy technologies. These technologies had been shelved for national security because they threatened the petrodollar power structure. There is a lot of technology that exists out of our sight and a lot of it is going to be revealed. It's going to be an interesting time. The unveiling of occult energy technology. It's interesting how they keep saying occult, though. Because, when yeah, occult means secret. <laughs> but it also has connotations to meaning, you know, the wizards and warlocks and, you know, the good wizards and warlocks in the Q movement. It's not not good. The unveiling of cult, occult energy technology is enabled by two convergent factors. Solar power was beginning... This is... Lies, but it is, it's a good excuse. Uh, solar power is beginning to eclipse oil and coal in cost effect effectiveness. The removal of subsidies and the use of variable spraying was only temporary. Were only temporary de de delays of the inevitable rise of solar power. So t 
the uh, aerial spraying. There's been a lot of, has been a lot of spraying of chemicals from the sky. Uh, not so much where I live, but in America definitely, and in England there's been, <laughs> been a lot of it. Um, chemtrails. The petroyan was poised to eclipse, and number two, the petroyan was poised to eclipse the petrodollar. The new gold-backed dollar makes both petro petroleum alternatives and alternative currencies used to buy petroleum no longer threats to national security. So I've got a little bit more to go. I am going to break this video off here and then I'll do one more probably and talk about the rest of this. Catch you in the next one.